hello guys welcome to my youtube channel once again this is tech pba so in this video tutorial i'm going to take you through how to share files and folders and drives on your computer um, on a local area network so that um, other your colleagues on the same network your family members on the same network can access those files, um, folders, and then the the the, net, the drives. But um, before we begin, we'll go through three things in this video. We will look at how to share the files and then the folders. We will also look at how to map those shared uh, files and folders and drives as uh, network drives in my computer. And then also we'll look at some of the permissions that you can set on these shared folders and files and drives. So let's um, get straight into it. So for, 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 for the purpose of this video tutorial, I've created this folder. I've named it share. This is what we are going to use to do our sharing. So the first thing we're going to do is to go into settings, click on start, we'll click on settings now in the settings window you want to click on the network and internet okay so now um, in the network and internet you can either click on the change connection properties so let's click on that And then over here, you, you, you have to set this um, option under the network uh, profile, set it to the private private um, network profile. So we'll switch the radio button to the private network profile. Or again, um, you can get into that um, section by clicking on the Ethernet. And then you will click on the network over here, which says connected. You click on it and then it will take you to the same um, area to the same window where you will select the private network okay when so when done with the that particular setting the next thing you're going to do is to go into control panel to continue the process so click on the control panel applet to open the window so that we can continue and in the control panel uh, window you want to click on the network and internet and then we'll click on the network and sharing center now the next thing we, we will have to do is to check that um, the network uh, profile is the correct one we selected earlier which is the private network and then we will go ahead and then click on the change advanced sharing settings. Now in the advanced sharing um, settings, um, you want to check on the private network and make sure that the turn on network discovery is on and then the turn on file and printer sharing is also on Then we click save settings and then from there you want to go back again and then click on the or expand the all network profile and then make sure that the turn on or the turn off password protector sharing or the password protector sharing is turned off and then you can go ahead and then click save changes now we'll go ahead and then do the same thing we've done on this PC um, on the other PC so very quickly let me check um, the host name of this PC so that we can call them by that name I will open um, command prompt and type the command host name sorry host name so this PC is Win 10 VM, Windows 10 VM. And now I will go ahead and then um, switch over to the, I will switch over to the second uh, PC. 
So now on the second PC, let's quickly check the host name. And then this one is Windows 10 VM1, Windows 10 Virtual Machine 1. So we'll go ahead very quickly and then go through the process we went through in the in the Windows 10 VM or the Windows 10 virtual machine will go into the settings now in the settings we'll go through the same process again by clicking on network and internet then we'll click on Ethernet actually using the second procedure and then I'll click on network which says connected and then I'll select private yeah. network I'll select the private profile and I'll click close. Let's minimize this guy and then we'll search for control panel. Click on the control panel applet. Okay, now let's go into the network and internet. And then I'll click network and sharing center. again the profile selected is the private network I'll go ahead and then click change advanced sharing settings and then again I will make sure the turn on network discovery and then the turn on file and printer sharing sharing is on now click save settings let's go there again Click turn off password protected sharing and click save changes. So from now from this point onwards we are going to move to the the other PC and then start the sharing process. So over at the Win Windows 10 VM, um, let's go ahead and then do the sharing by right clicking on the folder we want to share. It can be a folder file or a drive on your computer and I will select properties. And in the properties windows uh, pop up that, pop that, bring that comes up, we'll click on the sharing tab and I will click on advanced sharing. Over here, um, we want to go into the permissions. We'll talk about these permissions later on in the video. And then you want to leave it um, by the default or at the default and click OK. We'll click OK once again here and then we'll click close. So now this um, folder right here is being shared on the local area network so let's go into the windows 10 vm1 and then see how we can browse for this shared folder on this pc now in the windows 10 vm1 um, what we want to do is to open a new file explorer click file explorer then we want to click on the network icon on the left so as we can see this is the windows 10 vm1 which is the this computer we are on right now so to see um, the the other pc which is the windows 10 vm um, pc we'll click in the address bar and then type backslash backslash win 10 VM, which is the host name of the the the, the, the PC we shared the the, the 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 folder on. So as we can see, um, we are we, we can now see the folder that is being shared on the other PC, which is the Windows 10 VM. Let's go ahead and then double click to view the content. So as we can see, these are the exact content on the. On the Windows 10 VM so 
Um, with the sharing um, being successful, um, how do we um, make sure that this particular shared folder appears in my computer or this PC every time we want to look at it? We don't have to go through the hassle of typing the going into the address bar and typing backslash backslash the host name to view it but we can actually make it appear in this pc or my computer so that every, anytime we want to um, view the content of that shared folder we can just double click it over here just as you you would double click uh, any um, network drive or any drive on your pc to view its content so let's go back there again to the network area and then we'll go back and then type backslash backslash win 10 vm hit enter or where you see the shared um, folder you want to click you want to right click on the shared folder and then click on map network drive so we'll click on that very quickly and then in the pop-up window that comes up, you want to leave the, the drive letter to the Z, to the default, which is the Z. And then the name or the, the path has already been stated for you. And then you want to leave the reconnect or sign in um, checkbox selected as it is. And then we'll click finish. So this um, shared folder, when we go into this PC or my computer, um, we should see it there and this is um, to indicate that the, the mapping was successful. We are able to map this um, shared folder as a network drive in this PC. So I will close it and show you very quickly. So if we click on this PC right now, you will see that that particular shared folder on the network ha has been mapped as a network drive in this PC or my computer. This uh, process uh, works on Windows 10, Windows 8.1, Windows 8, Windows 7. So you can work your way around on those operating systems as well. So after mapping the shared drive, um, you can go ahead and open it whenever you want. And then the last thing we want to look at is um, permissions. Permissions you can set on the items that you share on the network so on the pc that we shared the, the folder let's go back onto the pc and then we will go ahead and right click on that folder and then click on properties then in the sharing um, area we want to go into advanced sharing and, and then we'll go into permissions so let me chip in this very quickly. In case you share something on the network, guys, and you want your the people you are sharing the the the, 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 the folder with or the the, the, the data with um, to be able to just read without changing anything, um, you 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 have to only you have to deselect the change option and then leave it to the read. With the read permission over there, the what the people you've shared the folder with cannot delete the content or cannot make changes to the content of this um, shared folder. So let's go ahead and then test it and see. So I've deselected the change option. I'll click apply and then OK. I'll click apply and OK here as well. And then I'll click OK. Uh, close. So let's... Um, try and then go onto the other PC which is Windows 10 VM and then test it out and see. So I'll click on, um, I'll go into the Windows 10 VM and then in the folder, in the shared item which we've mapped as a network drive on the Windows 10 VM one, let's open the network drive or the shared folder and then let's try deleting any of the contents over here. So I'll try deleting the movie over here and see. I'll press shift and then delete at the same time to try to delete it permanently. Then I'll click yes. Now let's see what will happen. Yes, 
So you can see that uh, it says you need permission to perform this action. You require permission from Win10 um, VM user one to make changes to this folder. So try again or cancel. So the only option you have is to cancel out of here. So yes, guys, that's how the permission thing works. But if you if you have to go back and then change it to read write permissions, this very computer and, and then this very user will be able to delete the contents of the shared folder. Let's try it out and see. So I'll go back, right click, uh, properties, the sharing tab, I'll go into advanced sharing, uh, I'll go to permissions, I'll click on, I'll select the change and I'll click apply, okay. You can actually um, grant that user full control, but you don't want to grant full control to somebody. Um, you, you don't want somebody to have full control of your data, so you can only leave it to the change and then the read. I'll click OK, apply and OK here. I'll click close over here. Let's go over to the other PC and then check on that. So now let's try to delete um, this movie. I'll press shift delete again and then I'll click yes and then this user is now able to delete the content of the shared item on the other PC so so thank you very much for watching this video please do well to click on the like button if you enjoyed watching this video um, please click on this subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and please share this video to help others out there Thank you and see you in another video. Bye.